Hello, good evening, Tribuners. Welcome back with me, Mutiara, in Indonesian News of Tribun Lampung. We will present you an updating and interesting information from every place in Indonesia. And here, the complete news. The first news is, LPG prices are expensive. People switch to using charcoal. Charcoal as an alternative fuel is now starting to be noticed by residents after the soaring price of 12 kg LPG gas cylinders reached 200,000 rupiah for one cylinder. This opportunity was welcomed by Zamhari, the biggest seller of charcoal in Baturaja City, Ogan, Komering Ulu Regency, South Sumatra Province. According to Zamhari, charcoal fuel has multiple advantages. Among them is as an alert and, I'm sorry, alternative when gas prices increase. Many micro, small and medium enterprises entrepreneurs such as restaurant, cake entrepreneurs and sellers of grilled fish and grilled chicken are now using charcoal as fuel. Previously, when gas prices had not increased, Many still cook cakes using gas, but now they have switched to charcoal. Apart from being triggered by soaring gas prices followed by exorbitant cooking oil prices, many residents turned to charcoal as fuel. Previously, people depended on menus that use cooking oil such as fried fish and fried chicken. Now many people are switching to grilled side dishes such as grilled fish and grilled chicken. There are even some community celebrations that serve grilled chicken or grilled fish menu. Besides being frugal, it is also beneficial for health by reducing consumption of cooking oil. This change from gas to charcoal was welcomed positively by the charcoal entrepreneur who opened a business on Dr. Sutomo Baturaja Street. According to Zamhari, the demand for charcoal from small and medium enterprises is now increasing. In one week, the demand for special charcoal for Ramadan culinary and restaurants is around 106 for one week. The next news is 101 Indonesian migrant workers deported from Malaysia. 101 Indonesian migrant workers were deported from Malaysia to the Nusantara port of Parepare. Pare. Once docked in Parepare, Pare, these hundreds of Indonesian migrant workers were then checked for completeness of documents by the port authorities. 101 Indonesian migrant workers were picked up using a minibus and then tagged to the Pepare Indonesian Migrant Workers Protection Agency Office for inspection. A head of BP2MI for the regions of South Sulawesi, Maluku and Papua, Muhammad Agus Bustamin said that Indonesian migrant workers were deported for committing violence. He explained that there were various reasons why Indonesian migrant workers were deported. First, because the documents are complete but the validity period has expired. In addition, there are also Indonesian migrant workers who commit criminal acts and must be deported. Then Indonesian migrant workers who do not have documents or enter illegally. Deportants work as palm oil workers in Tawai, Sabah, Malaysia. According to Agus, the deportants came from various regions, including outside South Sulawesi. BP2MI's role is to ensure the return of each deportant to their respective places of residence. The next news is, the operation of the chief bulk oil market is invaded by residents. A resident of Guntung Paikat Banjarbaru, Azura, was seen carrying two cherry cans of cooking oil. He was grateful that he could get the bulk oil at a price of 14,000 for one liter because so far he had found it difficult to find affordable cooking oil. Azura is one of hundreds of residents in Banjarbaru who on Friday, April 8, 2022 were willing to line up to buy bulk cooking oil at Toko Jaya Makmur Central Rambai, Guntung Paikat, South Banjarbaru. Residents are busy lining up. 
to get the bulk cooking oil because the price of cooking oil is 14,000 rupiah. It's much cheaper if the packaged cooking oil store costs 25,000 rupiah for 1 liter. The head of the Banjar Baru Trade Office, Dr. Randes Abdul Basit, explained it that this activity is part of the operation of the cooking oil market. He explained it. In operating the market, the trade office provides 1,000 liters of bulk cooking oil, which is sold according to the highest retail price of 14,000 rupiah for one liter. Basit, Basit said, for the sale of this bulk cooking oil, his party convey it in a silk curl, where the poor or underprivileged a maximum of 5 liters, while for small and medium enterprises and others a maximum of 10 liters. The next uses the Bogor BEM Alliance demonstration at the Palace Bogor. The Bogor BEM Alliance emphasized that it would continue to oversee the points of demands addressed to President Joko Widodo. BEM took out Bogoraya held an action at the Bogor Palace on Friday, March 8, 2022. The coordinator of BEM for Bogoraya, Rizki Nuria Suri Altar, said that. He gave President Joko Widodo three times 24 hours to answer student demands. The Bogor Palace previously received representatives of the mass of action consisting of a combination of BEM students from all over Bogor. The protest mass, which had been held for several hours at Gate 3 of the Bogor Palace, finally dispersed just before the Maghrib call to prayer sounded. Reported from Tribun News Bogor, even though they were detained by the joint Indonesian National Army police operators, the orators continue to take turn enthusiastically delivering their oration. Until it speak, the demands of the student alliance were accepted by representatives from the Bogor Palace. However, the mass of action consisting of a combination of students had friction with the joint apparatus because they spiced I'm sorry, because they passed it their way into the Bogor Palace main gate area. The next news is a house in Bitung City caught fire. There was a fire in Bitung City, North Sulawesi on Friday, April 8, 2022. A house behind the Girian Bata Karch caught fire in this incident. The house that burned is permanent house. An explosion was heard from the house where the fire was located. The resident who heard the sound of the explosion was held well me. Well me said that explosions were heard from around the burning house. The permanent house that caught fire was in residential area behind the Girian Atas Batak Karch. Well me continued just before the two explosions he was in the house. After hearing the explosion from inside the house, he immediately rushed out of the house, then showed the flames had come out of a window, which is on the left side of the house. Well, me doesn't know where the explosion came from. The next news is, the first governor of the Bangka Belitung Island dies. The first governor of the Bangka Belitung Islands who also a member of the Regional Representative Council of the Republic Indonesia, Hudarni Rani, died at the age of 71 years old in Jakarta on Friday, April 8, 2022 at around 4 p.m. The news of the death of one of the pioneers of the Bangka Belitung Islands province was confirmed by the head of the Bangka Belitung Regional Disaster Management Agency, Mikron Antariksa. The disease is currently still at the San Francisco apartment Kelapa Gading, Jakarta and will be brought to Bangka on Saturday, April 9, 2022. Mikron said that Hudani Rani has been known as an intelligent and good figure in politics. Hudani is gate apart from being a pioneer figure in the splinter province of South Sumatra also had a hand in the construction of the governor's office complex in Air Itam Pangkalpina. The land in Air Itam was once a former tin mining area which is 
now the center of the provincial government with the local government office buildings and representatives of the central government. Hudani Rani served as the first governor for a period of 2002 and 2007. The last news is, Jember District Government holds cheap market. The government of Jember Agency through the Department of Industry and Trade held a cheap market in the month of Ramadan in the year 2022. This cheap market will start on the 7th of April 2022 until the 28th of April. The Department of Industry and Trade cooperates with each sub-district which is the location of the cheap market. He also cooperates with a number of producer and distributor of basic and essential goods. Some of the basic and important ingredients that are sold include rice, sugar, and cooking oil. Several other supporting food needs are also available at the cheap market such as frozen food, milk, and various spices. The Department of Industry and Trade is also cooperating with clothing stores as can be seen in the cheap market in Rambi Puji district. The goods targeted by residents are sugar as well as cheap clothes sold at clothing store stands. Meanwhile, in every cheap market event, each sub-district also cooperates with micro, small and medium enterprises in their area. Well, I think that's all the news for today with Mimutiara. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.